that we're going to be chatting to Coach Mitchell. Uh, I have a question already for him from Lemmy as to why it is that he left. But without further ado, let's welcome Mitchell now to the show. Uh, Coach, a warm welcome. Coach Mitchell? Uh, good afternoon to all of you and all your listeners. Huh? Uh, greetings to all South Africa under the lockdown. I hope you are staying strong and keeping safe. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coach. I know you're out in, in Zambia. How are you doing? There's lockdown happening there as well. Not uh, uh, lockdown in that way. We are having 39 cases, three recovered, one uh, uh, person has died. And uh, this is how it's with us here. Uh, social distancing, uh, closing, uh, and, and culture of uh, keeping away and keeping safe mm. is all over the world, not only with you in South Africa. Yeah, the world over. Yeah. Coach, how, how yeah. are you? How are you coping? I mean, always being busy, being on the pitch, being on the field, being with players. How are you managing uh, in this time where there has to be social distance? Uh, you need to know something. When uh, uh, you know what to do, and when you have what to do for us in coaching, especially with the national team, where you are heading and project of uh, carrying the dreams of a nation, like I carry now dream of Zambia and Zambians, uh, you always have what to do. You're mm-hmm. going into the deepest possible attention to the details. You are trying to find the ways to prepare the times after this corona. Mm. This corona has two aspects in negative way. First, we need to uh, protect ourselves against disease. And second is to protect ourselves mm. mentally because this is trauma. This is uh, torture that we are going through the news and everything, what is going on. Mm. So when you have that in mind, uh, we really need to approach it uh, from all the aspects. And so is with uh, me and my national team players, and my national team players, uh, national team players. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have made a uh, strategic, uh, strategic uh, master plan where we are taking care mentally about our players because when all this is finishing, we as a national team, we need to play an important role of healing uh, the torture and trauma uh, of the nation. So we are doing so much on mental aspect. We are doing so much from the keeping fitness aspect, distance coaching, giving to players programs and exercises to keep fit. And very important now that we do so-called video uh, corrective uh, uh, coaching. Mm-hmm. So whatever was wrong before, we need to correct now so that time when all this uh, unfortunate situation is uh, finishing we are ready to deliver for the nation and and that's good to know it's nice to know that technology can still um keep us in touch with each other but do you think it's it's enough because yes it's one thing to keep fit it's another thing to try and be match fit when you don't have the luxury of running and sprinting and doing everything like you're used to You know, uh, desperate times have been desperate measures. <laughs> yeah. It is not uh, exactly uh, uh, what is supposed to be, but at least to keep yourself in a mode, uh, because if we are just sleeping and waiting uh, things to happen, it's better us to happen to things and keep ourselves. Mm. And as um, one uh, gentleman he is saying, this is not supposed to be lockdown for us. It's supposed to be time out for us. Yeah. And that time out, we need to regroup, uh, we need to rethink. I want to believe, and I'm a believer, that we have done so much wrong as uh, uh, humanity has done so much wrong to this planet. And this is just yellow card mm. of this planet to the humanity. This is what happened to us. Yeah, I, I like that. I mean, let's show so, COVID-19 the red card instead. Uh, 100%. We got yellow card from the planet 
uh, fully aware of that, we need to regroup uh, to change the tactics mm. uh, to approach this invisible opponent in a tactical way, kick it out, but fully aware that it could repeat if we are not eradicating in, in, with uh, social distancing and, and all the advisors of all health organizations and the respective government. Mm, mm. You, you say that desperate times call for desperate measures. Um, do you firmly believe that what is being done, I mean, in terms of conditioning, uh, the fitness plan, the coming together on, on the social media platforms that enable us to, you know, have conference calls, etc., is that, is that enough for your team? And do you feel that they are doing, I mean, they're professionals at the end of the day, but are they doing what it is they need to Uh, it is at all not enough. The best is a uh, natural way of getting the uh, physical fitness through the match fitness. Mm. But uh, we always, instead of being pro-reactive and crying about situation that has happened and sitting, it's better, better to be proactive and, and looking for the solutions and modalities, how to uh, make the bridge over this uh, unfortunate times where humanity has challenged in COVID-19. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Coach, I mean, I, I put it out there today that we'll be speaking to you and I welcomed uh, some questions as well from our listeners. And I have a question here from you. This one is from Lemmy. He's saying, uh, please, Romy, can you ask the coach what led him to leaving Pirates at a crucial time when we needed him? We were so patient with him for two years and he left us in the lurch. What is your response to that? I would like to say that everything uh, has uh, its way. It has happened. It has been very unfortunate uh, that I was really in a challenge that I had uh, from the personal way. Uh, how I have gone an institution of that magnitude uh, uh, is supposed to move on. And I believe Pirates was before me, was with me, and I'm proud of what we have done in those, uh, let me call it, those 750 days together with you, uh, living for the game and loving the game and supporters. And I believe that we have set a very good foundation that later on with Coach Rolani Mokwena and later on with Coach uh, Joseph Zimbauer uh, is going very well. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I would not go deeper into the reasons and causes. Uh, I have a spiritual football father, African football father, Dr. Ivan Koza knows everything. And I have remained in perfect relations with the club, with the players. Believe it or not, even in these times with all the people, I'm in perfect relations. And this is my the biggest, the biggest pride inside me. I have been in, I have gone, but I have still remained respectful to everyone. Mm. To everyone from the supporters that that they have felt that I have gone too early, I would like to apologize. Uh, I deeply regret that I have caused anything negative inside them. I hope they will find space inside their hearts and to forgive me. I'm sorry for the departing earlier than expected. Mm. I know that Lemmy is a big Buccaneer fan, so he appreciates that uh, message that came from the heart there. Coach, what is your message to everybody as we find ourselves in these trying times, uh, trying to flatten the curve, trying to stay home, and sometimes it's easier said than done? Uh, I would like to say uh, we had a normal life and we have never expected this to happen. And now, when it happened, we could see how uh, animals are feeling in the zoo garden. And this needs to be a warning to us that I'm, I'm convinced uh, the way capacity of humanity is uh, vaccine and, and, and also um, medicine for this will be found out. But this is a warning, as I told before, we got yellow card. Now we need to give the red card uh, as a counter attack to the uh, COVID-19. Mm. And uh, in that order, we need to listen to advisors of experts, of World Health Organization, of government, of, of uh, South Africa, or wherever we are, 
and we simply to abide because uh, this is very tactical match, and tactical match demands extreme level of tactical discipline. And tactical discipline says, keep yourself uh, away, stay home, stay safe, uh, let all this pass, let us come out of this stronger, uh, out of this situation. Also, other advices of washing the hands, of uh, keeping social distance and other related issues, uh, we need to abide by so that our tactical plan of giving, uh, of beating the opponent called COVID-19 COVID coronavirus, uh, we succeed because it is humanity against corona, and I believe humanity has all the capacity to, to do so. Mm -hmm. That to happen, everyone needs to abide by strict rules of keeping away and not allowing uh, corona to beat us. We need to beat corona. We, have, uh, we are capable of doing so. We are indeed, Coach. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for chatting to us, Coach, and stay safe. My sincere respect to you, to all the good people in South Africa and looking forward, because they have many players down, to come soon down and once more to return life to normalcy and to enjoy uh, in the most important game on this planet, football. Coach Mitro, thank you very much. Thank you. More than welcome. That is Coach Micho there uh, chatting to us from Zambia, letting us in a little bit. And I think he says something really uh, profound. And now we get to feel the way... Animals feel like in a zoo.